Hello, welcome to second part tutorial. We are creating this nice glass effect transition in After Effects. Remember last night we uploaded on YouTube the After Effects tutorial, how to create, you know, the blinds in After Effects, then save as much template. Now we jump into Premiere and we're gonna see how we're gonna be creating this. So let me play and see once again what we're gonna be creating today. Okay, this is what we're gonna be creating. Let me show you another project that I create with color. So you can choose any one of those. You can just go glass effect or with color. Let me play and see. You see, this is with colors. So it's up to you. You can choose any color of those bars or blinds, whatever you want to call. Or you can just have like a glass effect we just saw, um, see, right? We just saw. Well, this is what we're going to be creating. As I said, let me close this. Let me minimize this one. And let me go into my Premiere. Let me minimize. What is this? Okay. Then here we got my Premiere. Before we start, I'm going to show you. If you don't want to watch the After Effects tutorial, you don't want to just uh, go ahead and start in Premiere. So as I said, you can download the project from yesterday, last night or whatever. And this project also will be um, available. The link will be in the description so you can go. When you download, you will have this two motion templates created in After Effects. As I say, if you want to watch the last night video, so you can go ahead and watch. Let me show you the tutorial where we have. You see, this is the tutorial. So make sure to watch if you want to create an After Effects. And, you know, as I said, the project is available to download. And you will have this. So... Once you come into Premiere, make sure, you know, go and make sure Premiere is selected. Go window and make sure the Essential Graphics panel is open. And we're going to go, as you know, I I think I already showed a couple times uh, how we can insert the template. So we go and click this icon and we'll pop up the window where you have your, you know, and uh, let me go into my folder I got in here. So you can go ahead and, you know, pick the in this case, we are looking for this. As I said, if you download the uh, project, we'll have in this folder called um, Projects, you know. And so inside, you will have those, uh, you know, the blinds and the text slides mask. And you can pick one of this and then open. I'm not going to open this because I already have it in here, as you see. And also the same thing, you can go click and, you know, just insert this. And you will have into your essential graphics panel you see this is where we have then we're going to start the premiere thing as you see we got a couple folders image image replacement and this one uh, creates by itself you know when we insert the motion graphics template and this one you go uh, you know the sequence so we're going to start from scratch first we need to go with the image i already insert the image into this folder you know you can go on file import and you know choose whatever you have your image and then just import or the shortcut is command i now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the image so we're going to do maybe first we're going to say sequence and we're going to go and say image one and make sure you know uh, I'm using DSLR as uh, 30 frames per second, 1920 by 1080. And I rename it image 001. Let me hit OK. And we're going to, you know, drag the first image. So I'm going to do this uh, first um, image composition because I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing all of them. So you will know how to create the image. So let me go. And I think this is uh, 10 seconds long. It's up to you. You can go 5 or 6 seconds long. In this case, I have this uh, 10. So I'm going to just, uh, you know, go into my effect and control. And I'm going to just, uh, you know, maybe scale down a little bit. It's too much. So let me go 70 maybe. Yep. And then what we're going to do is let me go at the zero frame. And I'm going to just add a keyframe on the scale. Going just hit the end key on the keyboard. 
or you can just drag you know uh, the CTI whatever you call and let me just go five pixels zooming of course I mean uh, we had a uh, 70 right so we should have 75 now and if we go and see what we have and this is what we really have okay once we have this we need to go into my essential graphic panel as I say if you don't see this you can go window and make sure the essential graphic is selected okay let me go browse and as I said when you insert into your folder you will have this so I'm gonna just uh, go and drag and drop this text as I say you can download if you don't want to watch the tutorial we create an after effect and this is what we have so what we're going to do in here is we're going to uh, you know just um, align maybe to this side so make sure it's selected go in here you know make maybe we're going to just put a little bit down and also maybe a little bit to the right and also we might need to change the name because I I know you don't like to have this photography if you want you can just go and type you know let me just say photo shoot New York photo shoot so let me go New York photo shoot and hit enter and you see what happens in here it's a, a, a little bigger than the background so that's why remember uh, that's why I really suggest to create an after effect so you will know how we did create this so we got this parameters you know where we have the you know the background so we got the scale you know width and height so I'm gonna just scale a little bit the uh, the width so let me go and scale a little bit you see and this is what we have and also we got you know uh, the X position and Y position so you can just move around and also the text also we add the X position scale and Y position as you see so you can just move let's say I need to move to the little right or left so you can do that as well and this is what we have as I say you can type anything you want and let me just see and what we really have right now this is what we have once we have this we need to go into my project folder or panel and we're gonna create a new sequence so let me just go and click this icon oh you can hit you know let me go and hold it down and uh, command N on Mac you can create you know new sequence and I'm going the same DSLR you know 1080p 30 frames per second I'm gonna call main and I'm gonna hit enter once we have this what I'm gonna do is drag this so make sure to pay attention because I'm not gonna do all of them because it takes a lot of times and people are complaining the video is too long so make sure to pay attention let me go and zoom in this a little bit so once we have this we need to go into my essential graphic panel and we're gonna drag the you know that it's called blind Venetian Venetian I don't know how they split just let me just Venetians or uh, anyway so let me go and you know make sure it's selected and once we have this look what we really have so what we're gonna do is select the image and we're gonna look for you know let me go and see my effects and I'm gonna look for actually what I have my effects yep right here. so let me go and look for uh, you know track mat as I said you know I'm using this a lot of this nice effect so let me double click and go back to my effect to control and make sure put in the video too because we have on the video too the mask of course so this is what we really have right now okay so how we can get the effect and uh, you know that kind of glass effect so what we're gonna do is duplicate the image holding down option alt and PC we're gonna duplicate this and also we're gonna duplicate the mask so I'm gonna go and hold it on option and duplicate in this case what we're gonna do is go into this image make sure you select it and we need to go and you know and say make sure we got in the video for of course the mask of course nothing happens so what we're gonna do is go and select this blind Venetian transition and we need to go edit and just put this uh, you see this mask color so the opacity we're gonna go down to zero and of course nothing happens so this is what we really have now what we're gonna do is select this image and we're gonna go into my effect control panel and we're gonna go and scale 115 
and you will have this so let me see what we really have nice you see so we got this uh, nice effect so we need to add a couple more presets so let me go and select this make sure select it go into my um, effect panel and let me look for contrast it's brightness and contrast i guess let me see it's yeah brightness and contrast so let me double click go in here make sure select it go back to my effect control and let me we're gonna play with brightness and contrast and there's some i was just looking around so i was 11. you can just try with different you know depending on your image or if you have a video as well so let me go 15 and let's see what we really have and this is what we have right now so you see nice and also we need to go and you know add the same effect to this image let me just double click go back to my effect control and maybe we're gonna just play a little bit you know maybe right there not too much and you will have this you see cool so you can you know start uh, playing with this adding more effects as you know after effects i mean premiere has a lot of presets that you can play with and let me see and this is what we have right now what we're going to do now is we're going to select all of them double click i mean right click and we're going to go next account and we're going to call this holder one and hit ok once we have this of course it takes time to create all of this but as you know i like to duplicate and go you know so i i i don't have to go back and make all of them the same we just did with this so let me go and make sure let me just go and put this list and we're going to duplicate this called holder one right click and we're going to duplicate and we're going to rename this too okay once we have this double click to open my timeline and what we're going to do is, you know, remember, as I said, you can uh, create the image. Remember the way I create the, uh, this first image? Remember? And I already create those, uh, you know, five uh, images with the text. Or, uh, you already know how to create. You, and we just uh, created this first. So you don't have to, you know, want me to do all of them because you already know. So you can just uh, create it the same way we did. So I create this. So the way to duplicate is this. Let me go to holder two. Let me just, you know, select the image, hold it on option, you know, just replace the image. Go and replace the image. And you will have this. You see? Nice. Once we have this, we need to go back to my main. And here we got this. This is the first. And we're going to go maybe four seconds long add a marker hit the m on the keyboard to add a marker you see and we're gonna just uh, drag this you see so we will have this first this this and we can create one more but you already know how to create so let me go right click duplicate and we're gonna rename this three and we're gonna open this and you already know how to you know create as i say the image so i'm gonna just select this hold it on option and we're gonna just replace the image and you will have this if we go back to my main go a uh, four more i mean yeah four more seconds so it will be 800 in this case so let me go and add a marker and we're gonna just drag this and drop you see so we got one two and three so you know I'm going to do all of them and, you know, I'll come back. So I'm going to just do two more, four and five. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm here back. As I say, I already created the four and five. As you know, just duplicating the image and replacing. I mean, duplicating the holder and then replacing the image. So I got the number four and five. So let me go maybe uh, four seconds more at, um, uh, you know, at a... Uh, marker and let me just drag the holder four and let me go and maybe four seconds more and add a marker and let me add the five and this is what we really have right now so 
as you see this is basically how we create this as i say i really suggest create maybe the uh, i mean to watch the after effects tutorial how to create the motion templates i really recommend so go ahead and watch so let me go and hit the o on the keyboard and then we can just unlink you know this uh you know so let me go right click unlink and let me delete this and delete this well so let me maybe delete the track so because i don't need too many tracks in here and let me maybe let me just uh you know drag the sound and maybe i think it, it starts on let me see how should it starts and maybe let me see where i start the sound okay let me cut in here let me delete this part you know hit the delete key on the keyboard and this is what we really have so let me play and see what we have Okay, as you see, it's not playing smoothly because I need to render. But as you know, it takes time to render. That's the way we create this um, tutorial, you know, this nice. So you can just go ahead and also type whatever you want. In case you want to type more than, I mean, a longer day than this. Uh, so let me go and show you what I'm talking about. Let me go in here. And as you see, actually, let me go inside the image. Remember, we put the uh, text inside the image. And this is what we have. So let me see. In case you want to put like longer than this text, of course, you can do it. Let me just go and say photography studio, maybe. And hit enter. And you see what happens in here. So that's why we create this, you know, um, you know a scale height and width so let me go make sure the background is selected let me go and say maybe the scale width so that we can just increase the size and also we can just you know move to the exposition as you see we got this and also we need to go and move the text so let me just move the text a little bit more maybe you see right there so you know, it's easy and nice to use this uh, motion template in Premiere, of course, when you create an After Effects. But we're still waiting for some uh, really essential updates uh, from Adobe, of course, hopefully soon. You know, because it doesn't allow to change the font type in here. So that that's the really tool or really option we need in this case. So let me go. I know it's a lot of more uh, other things that they might be updating in the future and hopefully. And as I said, you know, that's the way you can customize this motion template creating After Effects. If you create in Premiere, of course, much easier. But the thing is, we can uh, uh, do a lot of animation like we can do in After Effects, as I said. So make sure to check out my website. As I said, uh, the, you know, the last video, we also out of this uh, called motion template for premiere it's only for english version you know and the latest version of premiere make sure to read the information and also down here we got a description uh, you know and way to download this uh, if you really want to support us and appreciate our work so you can go and you know get this you know so i think that's all for today and just want to create this second part in premiere as you know, you can, if you really want to learn how to create a motion template, make sure to check the After Effects tutorial. Otherwise, if you don't want to go back and watch the After Effects tutorial, so you can just start in here, download the uh, project. The link will be in the description. As always, make sure to subscribe on YouTube and also and uh, like us on Facebook. You know, we got this um, Nero Studio YouTube channel and also we got English uh you know channel in case you would like to subscribe and like the videos hope you guys like it and see you next time